Last time, guys, we worked on this, I guess you could call it a restaurant? <laughs> and it looks freaking fantastic. But today I want to talk about, I want to talk about the interior process. I'm going to do something that I said I probably wasn't going to do, but I'm going to do it this time. So I'm going to pick a build around here and it's just gonna be done. And then we can do the interior together, right? So the insides will be basically hollow. I am. <laughs> yeah. You'll, you're looking at it. The fence on the top. Oh, I found it. It's so cool. I love it. I, I love it so much. I went ahead and I put it up there. And I also slapped one in right up there. Oh, it's just, it's so, it's very medieval and I like it. You can hang the lights off of the bottom of the fences. So you get like the hanging medieval light look, which I really, really like. Look at that. We're, got, we're getting, we're getting something good here. Ooh, it's, it's oh, the atmosphere is coming together and I love it. We want to work on the interior. What is this building? This building is a tavern. I have the bottom completely open for us to completely mess around with, hopefully on camera. And then the upstairs I just did is, I just separated where floors are going to be so I could figure out where to put windows. It's a tavern slash inn. So the upstairs is all rooms. All right, we got another room right here, which I think is really nice. And then look at this room. This room is freaking awesome. I want to talk about interiors and how I do them because I, I realize that you know, I come from Minecraft where doing interiors is kind of a meme, right? Nobody ever shows off the interiors because it's, it's honestly, it's a lot of work. And the same is true for this game. What do I want to do? I want to get a, an, like the actual bar part set up. So I'm gonna do these guys, right? We're gonna swap them up. I think brick might look nice. Figuring it out on camera, maybe something like that. Ooh, that's nice. A lot of bars that I'm familiar with, they come out like this, right? So like, it's like this. We don't have bar stools, so we'll have to make do with uh, the silly chairs for now. I think we can get about four chairs. Maybe we'll do like a, you know, private seat over here, something like that. Uh, we want to get some tables in here, right? This is a bar corner table. I think that'd be nice. Do a couple tables like this. Maybe it's like family seating. Maybe we'll do this instead. We'll get this guy in. Get rid of that. Let's move him over just a little bit. And then we'll duplicate. Do something like that. We can fit a chair or two, right? Let's, we can probably get, this is a lot of what I do. Just moving schematics around and trying to see if I can make things fit. Right, there we go. Now we got, oh, it was, it fits like this, which is just another weird thing. So maybe we'll do another chair. Yeah, that seems, that seems fine. Plenty of seating. Got access behind the bar. You know, since the door swings open, there's not a lot going on over here. So maybe we'll grab this guy and we can do like a, like a shelf situation back here. Maybe a double shelf. Ooh, that could be nice. Uh, ooh, the triangle wall might actually look really good. So this is, this is like legit all the interior stuff. It's just a lot of like, what do I think could look good? Something that I think would look really nice in the bar setting is the hanging light. So I'm going to need a lot more grub stuff. Already, it's just tables and chairs. Looks good. Now for the bar, can I fit a table back here? I'm thinking, you know, bars, they like to have like shelves in the back, right? Where they, you know, where they, oh, I wish these would straighten out, but they really don't, do they? Can I relocate? No, look at that. It snaps like that. It's so it's really like it's not flush with the wall. There's so many like little things in here that just irk me. Okay, it's getting dark. Let's go sleep real quick. Something else we could do in here is my, one of my favorite decorations are the signs. These things are just fantastic. Yeah, that's going to be nice. Now, again, it is a tavern, so why not? You know, sometimes like I'm from a small town. So, like, you'll see trophies like deer heads on mounts on the walls. Why not have something like akin to that? Oh, you know it's gonna go good. Bombardier. You know why? Because there's bombardiers around here. Yeah, those are good. Oh, those are gonna be cool. They're gonna tie this place together. It's gonna look fantastic. But, you know, putting this place together was actually a lot quicker than I thought. I mean, it's gonna take, an, it's gonna take three or four hours <laughs> trying to build all, the, all of it because of the ant parts and the, you're getting all the stuff together. But, still looks good so let's walk upstairs right and something that all the rooms are gonna need are beds of course there's other things we can do in here we can do the uh again more signs signs is a huge one if you haven't unlocked the signs it's expensive but man do they go a long way they are so good i really like the signs other things right chests 
maybe like a single chest, right? You're like you're not living here, so you don't want to like have a bunch of stuff. But ooh, this could be nice. Maybe we do like a chair in the corner, a little sofa. Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. there's so many good options for interior decorating. It's just the macro scale building, like the actual blocks they give us that there's just there's not a lot of. Right, we'll grab these guys. Right, they're adventurers. They don't want to hold on to their stuff all night, right? They're they're sleeping. So let's go ahead and uh, plop a single chest down right there. This guy's gonna want a chest as well. It's a little dangerous having the chest next to the windows, right? In case there's thieves breaking in, scaling the sides of the building. But you know what? Whatever. Uh, and then lights. Really, lights is uh basically the last one. It just depends on how fancy we want to be. Do we want to go for the um uh, like the full like lantern in the corner, or do we want to go for something hanging on the wall. I prefer the wall ones. You know, they're small, they do the job. Uh, they're cheap to make. Yeah, I like these ones best. So we'll go through, pop a few of these in. And that really, apart from like building it, it's just filling out the space. So if you're having troubles with your interior decorating, don't worry about it. There's a ton of things you can do. Uh, and it really the trick is just fill out the space. Just try to fill out the space. It'd be cool if we had things like like actual shelves, that'd be nice. Uh, bookshelves themselves could be really cool. Maybe we'll do like a, I know the table isn't exactly small, but right, we could fit a round table in right here. No big deal. You know, maybe, maybe one chair, let's grab a chair. I think it's looking pretty good. Let me go ahead and fully construct all of this stuff. You know, it's one thing seeing the blueprints, it's another seeing it actually all built in. So let me go ahead and yeah, fully construct all of it. I'll even come upstairs and do this. And I'll give you guys the tour. We can talk about it a little more. Oh yeah, it's coming together. Well, coming together, done, finished. Yeah, look at this. The only thing we gotta do is do these guys, right? Just gotta get some random artwork down here. Let's see what we like. Uh, We've seen this down here. We're gonna work our way up. We saw the blueprints of this place, but now it's all in and complete. Got the lights going. It's, it's looking really good. I'm very excited for it. So again, all the rooms are they're pretty basic, right? This is an inn. It's not like a, a lived in place. It's, you know, it's a place for, you know, people to crash for the night. Maybe two, depending on your adventuring party, maybe a week. But you're not meant to be here forever. Got a little like waiting room situation, hangout loft like area. Uh, then we got the larger bedroom, which is nice. And then we got the master bedroom. Ooh, and I like the master bedroom. I like the master bedroom a lot. Like we got a little hidden chest back there. You actually have to close the door to get to it. Now we're using our imagination with this guy. I'm calling it a vanity. You know, you, you ladies out there, or maybe you guys and your wives, you, you might know what a vanity is. It's effectively just a mirror on the back and a lot of makeup. <laughs> but we got that in here, you know, just something. And then on both sides, we got places to look out the windows. It's pretty cool. Yeah, I like it. I think this turned out really great. What are some of the things we could have done with this? I have this idea, and I don't feel like it was appropriate here, but I think it's more for like the castle. I have this idea with the floors, which I think would be really cool. And that is to use the burr, the stem floor, the burr floor in certain spots. Uh, especially spots that you can't see from below, like, so, like, this really isn't appropriate because you could see it from below. But to use the burr as carpet, so, like, down here potentially would have been fine, like, it's messed up by the pebble, right? We'd have to remove the pebble and then place in, I don't, I don't even know if the floor could be, oh, it could, right? Like, you could have run carpets. So I think that's something that I'm going to do up at the castle. You know, there's a few more wall mounts that we could do, more paintings. I'm trying not to go too overboard with any one particular thing. The paintings, the signs, <laughs> that's already the thing that I go really big on. But that is going to be it. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Hope you guys got inspired for some interior stuff. Come up with some ideas. If you got again, if you guys have any interior suggestions, let me know in the comments down below. But that's going to be it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.